The church is standing up, glorifying the Lord as the instruments play. The presence of the Lord is being noticed for the ones who have the ears paying attention to the voice of the Spirit. The Lord is walking in our midst. His grace is spinning up for us. He's already spoken to us. He also desires to speak to many hearts. Jesus, Santo, Santo, Lord to Jesus, holy, holy is the name of the Lord. The presence of the Lord in our midst is everything that we desire. The voice of the Lord is sweet and tender. The praises, the Lord being crowned through his praises. Let's praise the name of the Lord because he is present in our midst. Glory to Jesus. It's good to be in your house, Lord. I agree, the beloved church and the ones who are watching us through the media, with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to welcome the ones who visit us. And at this moment, I'd like to invite everyone to open their Bible in the book of Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon, chapter 2. If you haven't heard, felt the presence of the Lord at this moment, open up your heart. Let the Lord visit your heart. And don't leave this place without your blessing. Fight for your blessing. Fight so that you may leave this place with mark from an experience with the Lord Jesus. As second chapter of uh, the book of Song of Solomon, verse 6. His left hand is under my head, and his right hand embraces me. Lord, speak to us, visit our hearts in the meditation of your word, so that our minds and hearts may be in you. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen, Lord. The brethren may be seated. We can say that we have just left a situation in which it scared many was the pandemic. Many are no longer here with us. Uh, to some was pleased, the Lord was pleased to take them to receive him on his arms and harvest them. It was his will. It is sovereignty. And in the 21st century, many may be asking themselves, why did I survive? What is the purpose for me to be here still? What is the reason of my existence? And it's good that we meditate on this because the word of the Lord says that there is a purpose for everything under heaven. Everything. The scriptures, they have a purpose. From Genesis to Revelations, we see a purpose. And this purpose is called salvation of the humanity, salvation of man. Salvation of woman, salvation of family. That will guarantee us the entrance into the glory with Christ. And many ask themselves, well, after I accepted Jesus, after I gave myself to the Lord, things got so hard. Yes, there's a price to be paid. And this price is nothing compared to the price that have already been paid on the cross of Calvary. The trials, the tribulations. The afflictions, we have never been deceived. Jesus himself said, in the world you will have afflictions, but do not be afraid. I 
overcame the world. And when did he overcome? When in the cross of Calvary, the crowd was crying, "Crucify him! Crucify him!" And he looked to heaven and said, "Father, forgive them, because they know not what they are saying. They do not know what they are doing." And the expression was. I give to your hands my spirit. He was not forced. There were many opportunities in which he he could have been imprisoned and judge him and condemn him. And out of those many opportunities, a group of soldiers were sent, and the leaders said, "Go there and imprison this man." They would, and the soldiers would come uh, in a subtle way, and they began to hear. And while Jesus was speaking, their hearts were were burning, and they would lose. You know, they would get completely confused, and they would return without Jesus. And the leaders would ask, "Where, where is the man?" And their answer would say, "No man spoke like this man. We never heard anybody speaking like this man." And today, we, as a church of the Lord. We have this knowledge, and we have this experience. This is our life. No one spoke in the same way that he spoke to our lives. He called us by our name. Remember resurrection, the resurrection when Mary goes to the tomb and she thinks it's a gardener, and she begins to argue with him and ask about the body of her, her lover, and she had.、Uh, The spices and the balm to put on the body of the of their lord, her lord, and the question was given to her: Why are you seeking amongst the dead the one who is still alive, and who is now alive? And, and then he calls her by her name, Mary, and immediately she recognized and she said, "Master, I know you."、It、was the Lord who took me out of the darkness to the light? He is the one who transformed my life. Was the Lord that took me from the mud and put my feet upon the rock? Go, go and tell everyone else that I'm alive. So after he would introduce himself, going through places that were completely locked up, doors and windows locked up, and he would enter glorified and would say, "Peace be with you," and they would receive this peace. Amen, church. Glory to God for this. That's why we greet each other with this greeting. We should never take this as something、uh, out of a, a tradition,、uh, like a "Good morning, good evening." No, 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 Lord, ask the Lord, and when I ask the Lord, Lord, when I come to your house, to when I greet to,、uh, others that have been already redeemed with the blood of the Lamb, and when I say. Peace of the Lord may feel in the same way like the the apostles that were hiding, receiving the visitation from the Lord. Peace be with you. What does the world want during the pandemic? Was a great confusion. A few wanted one thing, and a few others wanted something else. The governments were confused, and we saw that not even the governments and the authorities or science. Were able to give a solution because sometimes a person that was healthy, an athlete, I've seen、uh, people that I know that were taken like this. If you looked at them physically, you would that they would never die, but they were taken. And others with、uh, the body completely debilitated with several、uh, debilities, and they are still here. Because God is sovereign; He's the God, the Lord of Lords, and And God of gods, nobody can question the Lord. When Job tried to question the Lord, and he said, "God said to Job, 'Where were you when I established the limits of the sea? When you go to and see nature, that when you see the ocean, that is controlled by the power of the Lord. The the ocean makes waves, but it never goes beyond that." Because the Lord said that is going to go only to that, and that's the power of the Lord. And according to the sound of the command of His voice, something that came out of Af-、uh, Asia and came here and destroys everything, and that's His His power. 
And that's what God told Job. When, where were you when I built uh, heaven and seas in gravity? Lord, this God that we serve has everything under his, the control of his hands. And the world is seeking answers. And at this last time, there has been the growth of uh, desperation, anguish, and rumors of war. A simple uh, war training caused everybody to be nervous. Only the blood of Jesus has power. And when we wake up, we uh, are afraid of turning on the TV. What is going to be the news? Will I be able to get out of home? But whoever has the Lord has no fear. Who has Jesus is not afraid. Who has Jesus trust because if we know that Jesus is in the boat, everything goes well. That's what the song says, right? And the church of the Lord, the faithful church of the Lord, knows to whom they trust. What is the name of the church? What least matters, denomination, what least matters, as long as the church is faithful. What matters is the church has an ear that is sensitive to, vo to the voice of the Spirit. What matters is that when the Lord calls, the, the church would say, Here I am, Lord, send me. And we, for the honor and glory of the Lord, with great humbleness, without any pride, we can say, Lord, we are being part of the faith church of the Lord. And this faith church, it's being adorned, it's being embellished, it's being blessed with the adorn, adornments and with the garments. We are studying the book of Songs of Solomon, and the book of Solomon's, Songs of Solomon speaks about the, of the beauty of the Church of the Lord, the faithful church. The church can enjoy of these benefits, and the, the bride of the Lamb, and the beloved, beloved bride, and my friend, my dove. How many ways of describing the faithful church to, in the book of Songs of Solomon to refer to you and I who are under his care. And now we open the, the text that speaks about the cares of the Lord towards our lives in a pr wonderful and prophetic way. With your, your hand, his left hand is under my head and his right hand embraces me. Who were we if we were not the left hand of the Lord behind, beneath our heads? How would we be with the pandemic and the rumors of wars? And when even our own thoughts try to take us down, what would be of us? But the hand of the Lord is under our heads. And from it comes the direction to adjust us, to put us in balance, and to give us the understanding that the, our mind is the mind of Christ, and we know where we came from, where we are, and where we are going to, Maranatha. What would be of us if we were not for the embrace of the right hand of the Lord in the moments of trial, trials in the family or financial trials, trial with the family and health? Sometimes you see a trial and you tell yourself, I won't, won't be able to stand, I have no means. But the Lord is there embracing you and the Holy Spirit is bringing comfort to you and holding you by the hands. It's like the lost sheep on the parable of the one of the sheep where he puts it over his arms in a loving way. And the Lord wants to put you over his shoulders in a loving way. Feel the embrace of the Lord and love of the Lord. And because the left, of the, hand, left hand of the Lord is beneath your head, our thoughts are being balanced, adjusted, comforted, and guided toward that would, in a way that will lead us to eternity. And we know that our soul will, are going to rest on the hands of the Lord. We know that if our mind is connected to Him, no affliction will destroy it or will discourage us because we are more the victorious in Him because of the One who loved us. And His embrace is the service, is the visitation, is early dawn, is a meeting of the intercession group, is embrace, is presence, comforting our hearts, bringing comfort and the heat of the Spirit surrounding us, giving, the, giving us the means, all the resources, so that we may enter into this feast that has been predicted in the book of Reve Revelations, chapter 19. We are going to read to the brethren so that you may receive this blessing. We are going to finish the service, praising the name of the Lord, because 
we are part of this experience, we are part of this prophecy, we are inserted in this story and this prophecy that was described. Revelation 19 verse 7 says, Revelation 19 7, let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife has made herself ready. There's no time for us to play of gospel and take a, a jump out in the world and go back. No, we're, the church is ready. Soon we're going to hear, Blessed of my Father. Come, Blessed of my Father. Santo, Santo, Santo ao Senhor.
Glory to Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. While we were praying for the service tonight, the Lord gave a couple of spiritual gifts. A woman, she's among those of us. Her heart is troubled because one of her children is involved with addictions, and she's afflicted. She's asking for help, and the Lord is asking to tell her. The Lord is blessing you, my sister, giving you peace, promising that through your position in presence of the Lord, she's going to. The Lord is going to reach her son. His left hand is beneath her head, and with her right hand is embracing her. The Lord also has revealed a woman that she's desperate. And her wedding is a very delicate situation, and she's asking God for help because there have been rumors that there is no way for them to continue together. But the Lord is asking to tell you, I have a blessing, I have the victory. My word brings peace to you. Rejoice your heart and renew your hope. Not everything is lost. In the Lord, there is always hope because His left hand is beneath your head and His right hand embraces you. Best be name of the Lord. And uh, there is also another woman who entered here afflicted and sad because her faith had been placed in, in doubt. Somebody questioned her sincerity and her way of serving the Lord, and that brought great sadness to her. And through the service tonight, the Lord has taken care of it. His left hand was beneath her head, and his right hand embraced her. The Lord said that he knows her heart and her sincerity has gathered her tears, tears, and he's going to renew her, her life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. It's because of the care of the Lord. It is left hand beneath your hand, and the, the right hand embracing your to God. I'm going to have a word of delation to the Lord for this holy doctrine that the Lord has blessed us with, that keeps us healthy, and for this embrace with His right hand, His understanding of the body and fellowship as He sustains us and is going to sustain us until the great meeting with the Lord. Lord, we glorify You because You are the one who has embraced us. You are the one who were in eternity. For your embrace, Lord. We praise the Lord because in a short time we're going to be with you, Lord. We praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Lord, send us home from your house, but never from your presence. 
continue sustaining us, speak with us tonight, bring joy to our hearts, prepare us for tomorrow so that we can have yet another day in which we are going to be fed and sustained by the Lord. We pray, therefore, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Our service is over. We are going to give assistance to whoever need. We're going to pray for you, clarify any dial. And you who heard the message, the spiritual gifts and the praise, or any, in any manifestation that the Lord, Holy Spirit has given you, in, on any part, part of the service the Holy Spirit has spoken to you, for this service. This is our wage. We live off of this. It's a blessing of the Lord to hear from His lips what is the Lord spoke, how the Lord spoke to your hearts. Amen. Peace of the Lord Jesus to everyone.